Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna to be planting some lettuce in that pot right there. So I've got some extra potting soil in there that had been sitting for a while, was in with my chickens, actually. Flashback. So a couple weeks ago, I had put this dirt in here with my chickens. This was from some tomato pots, and I pulled the tomatoes and tossed the dirt in, and it's been in here about two to three weeks. And now it's time to take it out the chickens have scratched around, added their poop to it, kind of really improved the soil quite a bit, but now I've got to let it sit. I don't want to use it right away because, you know, chicken poop. Oh, Lord. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. Um, but this makes it really easy. I just basically pour it right in. It should fill up this pot. Now, I pulled this from a couple pots, but not all of them were completely full. So, I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit. It's gonna be about two months before I can use it. It'll be a perfect place to be able to plant some lettuce. End of flashback. But that's sat now for a couple months, and I believe it's probably broken down enough for it to be safe to plant. And so I've got these extra lettuce plants, and one is the prize head leaf lettuce, which I actually have growing right in the back, back there in that bed. But I planted too many and I just have extras that I'm not gonna be using. And another is one that I haven't planted before. It's called Grand Rapids. I noticed the seedlings took a little bit of frost damage at only 29 degrees. So it might not make it, but I am gonna plant mixed in that pot with these. And the nice thing about a pot is I can bring it up onto my balcony if it gets too cold. Now we are in January and likely we are gonna get another frost. We do get frost a couple times in the winter. Uh, recently, we had a really bad one, 13 degrees. Now these had come inside by then, but at like 29 degrees, they did sustain a little bit of damage. So I don't think they're super frost tolerant. Not like this prize head, and especially the Merrillville and the Merlot lettuce that I have also does really well in the winter. They handle frost just fine. In fact, it got down to 13 degrees and they're still doing fine even this prize head leaf lettuce, okay? So I'm not sure why they call it a prize head because it is a leaf lettuce, not a head lettuce. I'm not sure. Maybe you can do both with it, I'm not sure. But it does have some red tint to it, which makes it a little better in the winter and in the frost. So I'm gonna get to it, let's start planting. So first we're gonna plant this prize head leaf lettuce. You know, and that's the nice thing about over planting. Um, you definitely with your seedlings wanna start extras that you might not use. Now, I've got a couple leaves that kind of did sustain a little bit of damage in that frost. Oh. No! Well, let's see. I just killed uh, one of my seedlings. All right. Oh. They rotted away, guys. I guess that frost did kill them. That one's a little more substantial. All right, so we got, we got one. I guess that frost killed them. I mean, they're seeming like they're doing all right. We'll see how they do. Boy, that's interesting. All right, so we got one. We'll put it in the back there. And these seedlings here are slightly newer than those. Those are a little older. Those have been sitting and waiting to be planted. And it's exactly the same planting and the same age you'll be surprised guys as these ones right here which are way bigger and that's because they've been out in the soil uh growing and getting a little more light than the seedlings because where i got the seedlings it's just not enough light to really promote a lot of growth plus they're in a tiny little pot so now the roots are able to grow a little more those are the same exact age as these big difference on how fast they grow depending on where they're planted All right, and I do have these pretty close together, but I'm harvesting them as a leaf lettuce, so. So I find that they can get a little closer together because they're not impeding each other's growth, 
or sunlight since I'm harvesting them before they get any substantial size. Got one more, might be able to fit that in the center here. There we go. And I'm not gonna feed them right now. I mean, there is some good nutrients in there from the chickens. However, I will come through and give it some liquid fertilizer in the next couple days. I'm gonna let them start to kind of grow. And then I'm also gonna mix in a little bit of bone meal for some phosphorus. And of course the liquid fertilizer will have a lot of phosphorus as well, and that'll help the root development. But I wanna show you guys all these plants here, with the exception of the garlic, all the leaf veggies were all seeded the exact same time as this one on the, the left. Not those, those were like two weeks later. But this one on the left, these prize heads. And look how big these have all gotten. They're doing amazing. Super green growth. They just look absolutely phenomenal. And they, they weren't phased in the least by this freeze that we had. There was a little bit of damage on the leaves, but they sprung right back. And they're doing great. So I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah, they look great. I mean, considering they're the exact same age as that one over there. And they're getting real big. And we'll see how each do. I am positive that this is going to that this prize head is going to do a lot better in frosts than the Grand Rapids, but we will see. It does have some frillies on it, and frillies tend to make lettuces a little more cold hardy for some reason, varieties with frills, um, but also varieties with red in them also do, and that has red, this doesn't, this is straight green, so we'll see how it does. But there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Also hit that bell notification for future video updates. And if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.